What's up everybody, it's Kanisha. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today we are going to do a little bit of a what's in my bag. I'm going to finally review this bag because I've been wearing it for, I guess it's been like the past week or so. And this weekend I had a chance to go to a baby shower. I went to the most beautiful, beautiful baby shower. Oh my God. You know, some people come into your life and they make such a difference. They make all the difference in the world and they can be someone who is a sister or a brother from another mister or another mother and they just can change your life. That is this person, okay? I've known them for 10 years, we met at work and she is such a beautiful soul. So, I went to her baby shower this weekend and uh, it was beautiful, it was lovely. I used the new Cite bag and she was lovely. So I'm going to tell you how I feel about this bag. I will show you what's in my bag. She is packed, she's packed. All right, so if you are interested in all of that, then I hope you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. first thing we're going to do is let me just tell you about the details the details of this bag and then we will get into what's in her i love the cité i just want to start right off the bat in saying i love it i think this has got to be one of the most comfortable bags that i have and i'm answering questions along the way so for those who are wondering how do I feel about the straps of the bag? Do they fall off my shoulder? The answer is they are so comfortable. They don't fall off at all. I don't have any issues with the straps running down my shoulder and I hate that, I hate that. So that's not an issue. To the person who asks, what about carrying your arm over, over the loaf? No, I carry my arm in front of me like this. I push the bag behind me like that, like any other bag that you want out of your way. So easy to do, so simple. And most importantly, despite the fact that she is stuffed, she's super light. So I think those are really important and benefits of the bag. Those are the main reasons why I really am digging this bag. I'm really liking this bag. Let's just move on to the details of the bag. I'm gonna put the dimensions in below for the length and the height and the depth. Comes with two amazing zipper pulls that say LV on them on both sides. A, a similar beautiful zipper pull on the front and another zip pocket and beautiful big zipper pull on the inside. These beautiful, um, what do we call these? This is just like the, you know what bag? This is just like these hooks here that the straps are on, the Montaigne. I love the Montaigne where the handles flip inside. It's rolled just like that. And I think it also has the Louis Vuitton signature engraved on the sides of those clasps as well. So that's what this reminds me of, the strap, the way the straps are formed. And I love that detail. I love that they have the engraving of Louis Vuitton on both sides on all four of the straps going around and that they the bag also comes with four feet. It feels to me like there's reinforced canvas similar to the Montaigne on the bottom of this bag, which is why it's so nice and structured. And then the piping is holding it in place and then it's got these two side tab situations here that's also enforcing the structure, reinforcing the structure of this bag. I love the structure of this bag. Most importantly, I love that the Vachetta is pre-treated. So if it gets wet, if you get some water on it, you'll be safe. You don't have much to worry about. I did a video about that if you're interested on 
what are some water resistant bags Louis Vuitton has out. Go check that out. I think we can now start to get into what's inside of this bag. So I've been wearing it. I've been loving it. That's uh, my updated review thus far. I think it's a really great bag. A really great day-to-day -day bag or if you've already started off your collection and you have like a traditional piece, an original traditional, like I, I like to say, like a Speedy or Neverfull, and you're looking for your next piece, this one I think is actually really worth a look. All right, so getting into what's in my bag, she is stuffed to the brim. I love it, I love it. So I'm gonna start pulling stuff out. All right, so these are my Ray-Bans, they are my prescription sunglasses. <laughs> Sometimes I've worn my other blue light blockers, but then I have my Ray-Bans. I have my key pouch. I like to just keep some extra cards in there. I think this is probably one of the best small leather goods out there. For Louis Vuitton, I preferred the Damia bin. I started off with the Azure, but for a small leather good, the Azure turned out to not be a good choice for me. I ended up giving that clay to my mom and then going back and getting myself the Damia. I'm gonna start pulling out some treats. <laughs> so some treats from the baby shower, some chocolate covered pretzels she's having a boy so that's why the colors are blue and white instead of pink and white so cute is it not so precious everything there was delicious the decor was amazing such a dream and of course her mom did such a great job decorating look at this look at this little baby shower isn't that so cute this little baby shower gift oh it says we can barely wait. Isn't that so precious? Oh my gosh, I love it. I never thought I would say that because let me tell you, if there was ever a person who was not into kids when, when we were growing up, it would be me. But lo and behold, how people change. Look at this. This is the next thing. A baby is brewing. Ah, oh, is that precious? I think this is so cute. So if you're looking for baby shower ideas, these are some true original ones. Look at that honey <laughs> and the little honey pot stir. Oh, I thought that was simply so precious, so cute. Oh, and then the last thing was like the menu. So good, in case you're curious about all the delicious food. All right, <laughs> back to Louis Vuitton, back to Louis Vuitton now. <laughs> That was all, that was all in there. The next thing I'm gonna pull out is my Wapiti. I love this. If ever there's another small leather good that I love, it's the Wapiti. Besides the utility phone sleeve, it's the Wapiti. It's acting as my wallet right now. So I've got my hand sanitizer in there, some cards, my lip balm and my AirPods, which are turning out I am loving, I'm really digging AirPods. I'm glad I finally got unplugged. It's It took me only 10 years. <laughs> My earphones finally started like unraveling and coming apart, so it took me that long. Next thing I have are some tissues because you never know when you'll need them. The next thing I have in here is my mini pochette accessoire. This is like a catch-all. It acts as like, oh look, I love perfume. This is Juicy Couture. Wait, Juicy, oh, Viva La Juicy, Viva La Juicy. I have gum, floss, I have just like a whole bunch of little things in there. Then, oh, I'll show you the, um, I have the last thing that I have on the, on the outside of this is, um, I have my face mask, but let me show you the, uh, the small leather good that I ended up buying that you all helped me pick. Let me just show you what I ended up getting was the business card holder. Yes, I ended up getting the business card holder. I think I had shown the Victorine wallet and the business card holder. I was choosing between the two when I 
had made a recent purchase and I ended up getting the business card holder. I absolutely love this piece. I took it on vacation. This piece is in noir and black on front leather. And then it's got this beautiful gold button. It says made in France. It's got one little slip pocket here and then it has some gift cards in there. At the time when I was on vacation, I think I had business cards in here, regular, normal credit card, debit card stuff, license, you know. This was my wallet when I was away on vacation and it was just the perfect, perfect, simple thing. I don't care for a lot of to-dos. I think this is the reason why even though I have other wallets and things like that, like I'm still constantly always looking for like another new perfect. So this one is the latest and I'm really digging it. So I just wanted to share that. That is everything that's in my bag. And then the last thing I guess we can talk about is the lining of this bag. So on the website, it said when this bag first came out, it was supposed to have microfiber lining. Now, this is a significant detail and change to the bag because when you think about it, this is the same price as the carry-all and the carry-all PM has microfiber lining. So I really do think that we should probably give feedback to Louis Vuitton about that because I think that's not as fair. Like, I don't really think that's fair. Those kinds of details matter to the buyers, to the consumers, to many of us out there, Louis Vuitton, who contribute to your bottom line. You got to get those details right, okay? I think this bag would have been amazing with microfiber lining. I think it's beautiful and amazing still with the tool lining, which seems to be a much more upgraded fabric than the past. But nevertheless, when we have certain expectations that we don't get in the product, we will still be disappointed to a certain extent. Those are my final thoughts on the Cité. You are with me until the end. Thanks so much for tuning in and until the next time.